Hey everyone, welcome to Try Hack Me. Let me be the first to welcome you. I am Dark. Uh, my full name is Darkstar7471. If you see this symbol on the site, that's me. I uh, am the content director and community manager here at Try Hack Me, and let me be the first to welcome you here. Today, we're going to take a look at the tutorial room, and we're going to learn how to get started and dive right into learning information security and learning how to hack. That being said, let's go ahead and dive right into task one, deploy your first machine. So on Try Hack Me, you'll learn by deploying and hacking virtual machines. Let's deploy your attack box, a web-based machine used to attack other machines. If you're familiar with um, virtual machines, this is a virtual machine that's just running in the cloud. We provide one hour of this per day. Uh, one caveat is uh, the box, the one that we provide doesn't have internet access unless you are subscribed. Um, and if you're subscribed, you can use it for as long as you can, or as long as you want to per day. Uh, but we do provide this to get easy, uh, easily started. So let's go ahead. We're going to click this blue button here at the top, the start attack box. And we'll go over that again in a moment because that's a lot to uh, take in. And we'll deploy our attack box. Uh, this is Kali Linux for those of you that want to know what's under the hood. So it's very, very similar. It's just a custom skin and a little bit of custom tooling on top. Uh, additionally, we're going to go ahead and click this green deploy button here. That is going to start the machine that we will be attacking. So again, we're going to click the blue button that'll be up here on your screen and then the green deploy button here. These will take about two minutes to start up. So while that's going, I'm going to go ahead and continue through this and I'll walk through that one more time. So click that blue box, uh, the start attack box. This is a virtual machine that you can access in your browser. You can also open it up in a new tab. You can do all sorts of fun things with this. Uh, again, as a free member, you get a one hour per day limit, which is really nice because you can get a couple rooms done if you're speedy with this. Otherwise, it gives you a nice amount of time that you can just use the attack box nice and simple. Uh, you can subscribe to remove that limit. The attack box that you get as a free member does not have internet access, but as a uh, subscribed member does have internet access. So do note that. That being said, this is deployed directly on the TryHackMe infrastructure, so you don't have to use a VPN or anything else like that. And I'll go over how specifically we can do that here in a moment. If you want to use your own attack box, use your own Kali installation, for example, like I'm doing here. So deploy the machine, wait a minute for it to configure. This takes just a little bit. You can see that it gives you a nice timer on both sides. And then we'll see that we are going to be given an IP here. And then once we have that, we're going to go and visit the website hosted at that IP in our attack box. And it looks like the uh, test machine that we're going to be attacking is up and ready to go. So we'll give it just a moment. I'm going to click this button over here on the side to copy this to clipboard. Your IP address here will be different. You can just click over here to copy it. And then we'll go ahead and uh, take it right into the attack box. So we'll give this just a moment. Looks like it's just about up. And then what we're going to do is visit the website, host it on it, and then we're going to get the flag to confirm that we know that we can connect. So this is a quick little warning, just giving you a heads up that um, don't pen test anything you don't own because that's prohibited and that's super bad. Uh, once this machine is terminated, all data will be lost. Nothing's saved on these machines. They're temporary. And uh, this machine can expire. You can check uh, the My Machine page and it should show you how long is left. In this case, I have a subscriber box, so you can see they give me a full two hours here, and there's an extending uh, button that you can find if you go over here, and then go to Access Machines, click on that, and then go to My Machine over here. It'll give you tons of info about it, and I'm going to close that for now because I don't need it. Um, additionally, if you wanted to do the Opium VPN section of this, you can download a configuration file for that here, and then there is instructions if you click on this, so nice and easy. All right, let's go ahead. I'm going to close this because it makes the screen a little cramped for me. I'm going to click in here and press enter. And then we're going to start Firefox. And we're going to visit the website on this IP. Now, if none of this is making sense, don't worry too much. Just go ahead and keep following along. Trust me, it'll make sense in the long run. So we'll copy that or highlight that rather. And then we're going to type in 10, 10, 17, 87 or whatever, whatever this IP is. And then we can grab our flag here. I do recommend doing this instead of just following along. Um, make sure that you do go through and confirm that you can get this flag. So flag. And then connection verified. And then we can press enter and it'll submit that. Awesome. Let's go ahead and click into task two. 
which is going to be next steps. And then actually, since we're all done with this, we can click terminate here because we don't need the box that we're attacking anymore. And then you can click this terminate attack box and save your time for later as well. So go ahead and click on that and it'll shut it down. And then we can go back into task two. Now you've managed to deploy and access a try hack me machine. Uh, search for a security topic to learn about on the activities page. And we'll take a look at that in a moment. Additionally, you can check out guided pathways that we'll take a look at here in a moment if I don't close my tab. Uh, that was control shift T in case you were wondering how I opened that back up. Um, and we are going to make sure that that is killed. Again, control shift T will give you back whatever tab you just closed. So check out the pathways if you wanted a guided learning experience. We'll take a look at that in a moment. And then you have some other things that you can check out. So there are weekly challenges and walkthroughs that come out at each week. Right now we have uh, four boxes or four rooms rather that come out each week. One on Sunday, one on Tuesday, another one on Friday, and another one on Wednesday. Um, not, not in that order, of course. Uh, that is subject to change, but typically it's about four rooms that come out per week. Uh, you can upload your own VMs and make your own rooms here. Really, really cool. So you can go in and this gives you an overview of the develop page. Uh, if this is something that you are interested in, I do recommend ask around in the Discord. We do have help documentation. And let me grab it here. And that is help.tryhackme.com. And you can click on room creation overview. And this will give you a bunch of information on how to get started with that. We have specific guidelines, things that you can use for getting started. So like, how do you determine what the difficulty level is and other things like that? And how do you get things to actually work on the Try Hack Me infrastructure? Um, additionally, you can come to our Discord and there are a couple other uh, spaces that you can talk with us and join the community. Uh, the main space is the Discord and you can click on that here and you can see that goes to discord.gg forward slash Try Hack Me. That is the official Discord. That's where everyone hangs out. That's where you can come and say hi to me and the other staff and all the community staff as well. Additionally, we have a, an official Twitter page. And if you go down over here to socials, you can see the Discord. We have a form where you can get help and talk to other members. We have the official Twitter. We have our LinkedIn, the subreddit, and then you can message other members here as well. However, if you are stuck on something, I do recommend joining the Discord. That is going to be the best place to get help. Uh, otherwise, let's take a quick look over here. We've already seen the developer rooms. This is the activities page. You can find it up here on the top left. This gives you all of the things that you can do on the site. Uh, this is all the public rooms. Um, and you can filter by different categories up here. So, for example, if I wanted to click web, it just puts it in the search bar here. But you can see different rooms. Like, for example, if I wanted to learn about Burp Suite and dive into that and, you know, become a better web app pen tester, things like that. And then you can go to newest. You can filter by difficulty. You can filter by if you want a challenge room or a walkthrough room or if you want free or subscriber rooms. And you can see that there's a bunch of cool stuff. Even at the time of recording, we have a zero log on that room that came out not too long ago. Otherwise, you can do a guided experience with paths. Not too long ago at the time of recording, we did introduce a CompTIA Pentest Plus path. If you complete this path, you can get a 10% off voucher for the Pentest Plus exam, which is awesome. Uh, if you are new, I do recommend starting here with a complete beginner path. And this will get you started. If you want something a little bit more advanced, take a look at the offensive pen testing path, and otherwise you can explore it as you go. Otherwise, that's going to do it for the tutorial room. If you have any questions, feel free to hop onto the Discord, the forum, or the subreddit, and you can ask us. Again, I am dark on there, and I wish you happy hacking.